Hi guys, so just a little recap of what we did last lesson. We are working on creating different spring pulls and last week we did stem stitch, tiny little running stitches basically and we learnt French knots, okay, to achieve a kind of spring pull look like this. So in the next lesson we're going to focus on something called couching and also beading. Now I've had a little um, change of heart and I'm not going to get everybody to do beading and such because obviously we're just going to end up wasting loads of beads when we can save them for the, our actual product okay so in a later video I'll show you how to do beading but obviously you won't have a go so we're going to focus today on something called couching so the grey wool that crosses like that like a drizzle is has been couched on okay it's a really simple technique but very effective so you can see it's literally like a line of um, thread and you kind of like catch it, okay? There's lots of examples on here for you to have a look at and on the back also, okay? So first things first, we draw a design line, okay? So if you've got a really dark bit of fabric, you can do it. Um, you can still do it, just obviously it's just a little bit more tricky to see. Or you can just freestyle it, you don't actually have to do a design line. So you draw a design line like this and then basically what you do is you lay your piece of wool okay so you've all got a luminous piece of wool and um, we might not have, might be not be luminous might be a different color and then with your needle and thread you go from underneath let's check you guys can see and you literally just catch it around okay you can do it in a zigzag you can do it kind of curvy it's up to you okay now the good thing about couching is you can do it simple like this and it's still quite effective if you've got especially if you've got a different contrasting thread or you can um, you can see how this has got a cross stitch on it this one is clusters together that one's more consistent this one got loops in and that one got loops as well you can literally experiment any way you want okay so, but for this lesson, we're just going to learn the basics of couching, which is just simply under and over. Okay, so you just hold it in place from your design line and then stitch it on. If you basic one, you probably want to leave about just under a centimetre for each one so it's nice and secure. Because obviously if you did them big, if I did one over there, that would be all kind of loose and that wouldn't work. Okay, and then obviously once you've done that, you can go ahead and experiment with some different colours and thread. Okay? 